got the old uh, four by four, two by four. Uh, all the 66 Fords out here. But, let's see, oh, racing lawnmower. Gotta have it. But I keep my junk in uh, old tote. So what I'm going for is fire extinguisher. Maybe. You get the idea. I'll get it. Alright, Chance the Garage. I'm Chance. Uh, so, grab the uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, but the plan is, is to convert this to uh, a water extinguisher. So, thought process here would be um, fill this with water, find a way to pressurize it, and then essentially make a reusable fire extinguisher. Uh, that's how it's gonna go. Depends if this is gonna thread out or not. We gotta have some way to add the water, and if it's a press fit, uh, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere. But uh, let's see what we can get done. wind today. Ah, crap. Ooh. Anyway, so obviously this is already been discharged. You don't want to try that with a pressurized system. I figure that's self-explanatory though, but uh, I'll get cleaned up. All right. So, got what's left of the cylinder. Uh, so, as opposed to powder, um, I want to fill this with water. So fill it with water and then pressurize it. It should escape through the valve. So how do you pressurize it? Valve stem. So my game plan is to drill a hole inside of this, put this valve stem in it, and then be able to add air just like you would into a tire. Uh, probably have to play with it a little bit to see what's going to happen, but. Uh, that's the game plan. Alright, so, got drill bed here. This is a 2964. Uh, there's a few different valve stem sizes, so I'm not saying this is going to fit all of them, but it should fit the one we're doing today. Uh, I think I'm just going to put it up towards the top to try and fish it through there, make it a little bit easier uh, from that perspective. I guess you could put it wherever you wanted to. If you could get the valve stem installed. All right. About out of cord. In. I think I'm going to go around and deburr that a little bit. A lot of people use those uh, like deburring tools. I don't know. I use a pocket knife for a lot of stuff. I mean, it makes me feel bad doling a knife, but when it's a designated knife, I don't feel near as bad about it. An old chainsaw file, they come in pretty handy. No, no, no. it's quite a bit better. So this is my way of doing it. I usually take some WD or some sort of a lubricant. And then, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if we can kind of 
fish that through there. Maybe a little tricky. <laughs> Better than I thought. Alright. And then I always these I don't even know what the technical term is for it but like a valve stem puller and then it's also got uh, the threads where you can uh, get a t-handle grab on it like so and pull that uh, valve stem in there well she's tight all right so, there we go. Got a way of pressurizing it. Empty cylinder. Uh, I guess we can, oh gosh. There's powder everywhere. Uh, I think I'm gonna just run off of this gauge. I don't know how many pounds full is, but oh, it says 100 PSI. Um, I don't know, we may not go to 100 just cause I don't know how sketchy this is yet. But you know, what we do, we might just chance it. Uh, just put that on there before we lose it. Okay, so we're, I don't know, it's probably gonna take some experimenting to figure out how much to water to add versus air, but I don't know, somewhere around half, that makes sense, half to three quarter. Um, yeah, funnel, Folgers classic roast full of water here and air compressor anyway we'll just kill filming it's probably just a little over half so Powder just seems to spread or multiply. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just seal her back up. Uh, it's got a rubber washer on the top side that seals it. But it wasn't super tight. I mean, it was a little tight. But that should hold air. <laughs> All right. Maybe we should safety glasses at least. These shrapnel comes at me. Anyway, let's give her a little bit of. I bet you it doesn't take much to get a lot of pressure in this thing. So we'll just bump it and see where we're at. Ooh. Alright. So that was. That's for about 42 PSI. Let's see where we're at on the gauge. It shows empty. Do we keep going? I think we got a leak up here. Give it a little more. I think both of them's leaking. Oh, Milton. Even these ain't that good. I don't know what a good, uh, quick coupler is you tell me all right surely that's we're in the green so that's probably 80 90 psi uh it maxes out 50 let's get the big dog see where we're at 70 72. Let's leave it at. See what happens. All right, a little windy out here, um, but this is gonna be our what we're trying to put out. Smoldering from last night, still yet. But post you up here on the 66 four before. It's a camera stand on its days off. All right. So we've. I think we've got a. 
little bit of an air leak. I don't know if we can tighten it down and get it out, but for trial runs, let's see how she goes. very much water. We'll try and improve. All right, round two. So you can see we're in the middle of the full. Uh, it's right at uh, 100 PSI. And then I filled it with water to just below the valve stem. So round two. say it was successful. Ah. Um, which, I mean, this isn't a big extinguisher. If you got one of those larger, like, I don't know what size this one is. I don't know. Anyways, I was looking at extinguishers. I was looking at water extinguishers specifically, and they were about 150 bucks. Um, but, I mean, we're not far off from what, what I'm trying to accomplish with this one, but whenever I'm driving these old junkers around, I like to keep an extinguisher somewhere handy, just because, you know, burn things to the ground. Uh, but we're pretty good. So I'll, uh, I'll probably start putting out some more videos more frequently. And it's just, you can get more stuff done when you don't film it. So, and a lot of these projects are just, they're too big. Like the, if you're actually making one roadworthy, like a truck or something that's been off the road for a while, it takes a long time. I don't know how these guys put one out, I put a video out every week, but it's impressive. Anyway, appreciate you watching.